this is the tea. So Jacob and I, we both were in a great agreement that we were going to take a little break and just, you know, still co-parent and be here at home and still be able to like, we're best friends. Jacob and I are best friends. So ain't nobody lying around here. Ain't nobody not keeping it a buck. I'm too much of a boss. That was 2022. That's when those videos that surfaced today, those little videos from 2020, so cute. I love those videos. Matter of fact, ugh, I wish his clout chasing ass nothing but the best. I really do. So here's what I do want to say. Ladies and gentlemen, okay, it is a thing when you decide to let people into your world. It is a thing to realize this is the tea. So Jacob and I, that motherfuckers don't have your best interest. And motherfuckers are crazy, okay? So let's fast forward to January this year, 2024. Twenty twenty four. Okay. Um first of all, let's just all be bro. Everybody already knew <laughs> Curtis was around. Hasn't been around for a while. Okay. Hasn't been around. As a matter of fact, I really don't want to say too many bad things about Curtis because that's just not in my spirit. This is not in my spirit, but what I will address and what I am going to talk about is the fact that you've been trying to extort me since January. Okay. That motherfuckers, you have been text mess. You have text messaged me to send you gifts. Your birthday just passed. You have been text messaging me to give you money. You have been telling me that I need to send you a rollie since Jacob posted his new Rolex watch that I bought him. And I don't fuck with you, nigga. You're not my man. We don't go together. We don't go together. We, you were a thing, okay? A bitch cut you off. As a matter of fact, the craziest thing is, is the only reason you got a bed that you're sleeping on right now is because of a bitch like me. How I make sure that you got a motherfucking bed to sleep on and a motherfucker want to extort you and expo expose. It's not uh, expose. Let's talk about it. Jacob's in the house. Let's talk about it. 22. Nigga, you're not my man. You pulled up to Miami during Batty's Caribbean auditions. And you have been. I had to sun your ass because you just showed up to a fucking club unannounced trying to be all in my motherfucking face. The whole place was like everybody. All the baddies. Everybody. Natalie, Curtis is over there. Curtis, like, what are you doing? Bro, I'm not fucking with you. I told you to take your ass back to Albany and stay to fucking Albany. You call, ask for groceries. Bitch, I send you some motherfucking money. You call and ask me for some shit. Your family got this going on. Your mama got this going on. I always made sure that you was cool. You was good. Like, nigga, I'm not fucking with you like that. You are playing a nasty game. So then let's check this out. I get a phone call yesterday, right? I get a phone call yesterday from motherfucking No Jumper. I don't give a fuck. Y'all want y'all want some tea? Y'all want to lay it out? Let's lay it the fuck out. I'm shopping, having a ball, spent $30,000 in the Chanel store, nigga. Ain't worried about you, nigga. I'm up in the Chanel store. I get a phone call from No Jumper. And I had to sign your... You got this guy. He's trying to do an interview up here. Oh, he's from Bad Boys. He's talking about he wants to uh, he wants to expose you and his relationship. Like, nah, what, like, how, what you want? I was like, wait, what? You, I said, do the interview. Do the interview. Please do the interview. I don't give a fuck because guess what? Jacob and I already had this conversation. That's what you don't re fail. That's what you fail to realize. The conversation was had. You're not doing anything. You were a thing for a little while while I was on a break with my husband while we were doing a great job co-parenting, an amazing job. And guess what? That was a long time ago. So you want to extort me. You want to go up to no jumper. You want all these blogs to run a story about you. You're a bitch ass nigga. Okay. 
um, and leave me the fuck alone. Stop pulling up where I am. I told you multiple times, don't come. You want to be weird. I get it. Trying to, trying to hold on to your lifeline. No. Okay. We're past that. Done a lot of nice things for a lot of nice people. I mean, for a lot of people. <coughs> and I feel like <clears throat> my fuck is just taking advantage of me now. Trying to extort me. And I'm not playing. So, on that note, I am going to get into glam today. Because I'm about to slay this courtside tonight. Oh, can't wait to put on my outfit. Matching Chanel sneakers with my husband. We bought those a couple days ago at Chanel. It's cute. Can't wait. We're going to be matching and cute. And I know you guys probably think this is fake and me just being... It's not. It's not. Moral of the story so that everybody, when you go to your offices today or you go to your jobs and everybody wants to go down the blogs and see the pictures of me and Curtis and Natalie are not a thing. Okay? Natalie was on a break with her husband and Curtis was convenient. Convenient. And I felt bad multiple times. Just to help the kid out. Help him out. Help him out. Help him out. Help him out. So, where I go to, where I fail to realize is that when you do nice things for certain people, they will come back in and they will bite you in the ass. Okay? Because motherfuckers, when you give somebody anything, a certain lifestyle, or give them a gift, like, they want more. So, you have to be very careful. And, unfortunately... I'm not putting anybody in an NDA. I don't have no time for no gag sh orders. I don't give a fuck. You run and start talking about me. Cool. Bet. Everything I are you about to say, I, I don't always come live and tell it. But I'm telling it today because you're playing. What, the reason I, I, because you started with the extortion. That's what I didn't like. You started with the extortion and that wasn't cool. You're not going to extort me for a Rolex. I buy, I spend... I spend more money. I the jeweler at this point. The jeweler at this point, it's. It, I don't even get fake. This is straight out the Cartier store. Okay, I don't like at this point. The jewelry is straight out the stores. Okay, I don't. You wanted a thirty thousand dollar watch for you not to talk. I could have gave you that. I don't give a fuck. Say whatever the fuck you want to say. You wanted some money, bro. I could have gave you that too, but you're not gonna tell me. You gonna give me a, oh, this or that or I'm gonna no you I'm not happening. You could have got a, maybe a birthday gift though. I mean you did turn thirty. I could have sent you a little thirty like a little little thirty pack thirty. Bow coulda. It went over my head. Your birthday was like a week ago. It went over my head. Whew. Not even thinking about you. So okay, we took a break. Jacob and I took a break. We take them sometimes. You know, we take breaks sometimes. I encourage you guys to do that too. Just take a break, like a breather. Like, give me a break. It's okay. No separate houses. Come home and still get in-home dick. Mm -hmm. That's my husband. Yeah, all that. And keep it real. At least in your house. At least it, it, with your nigga. Keep it real. So anyways, y'all, I think the blogs thought they had a story today, but you don't got a story. The story is niggas is trying to extort bad, rich bitches out here. That's the story. Happy birthday, Curtis. The maids just got here. Journey's up and it's breakfast time at my house. Um, good luck. With everything that you do, with your music career and anything else. And I think all of everybody in here wishes you nothing but the best, too. But that chest move didn't work. Honey! <laughs> Jenny! Glam time. See you in a minute, Britt. <laughs> Batty, Batty, shot a clap. I love you guys. Thank you guys for tuning in to Zeus. Um, thank you guys for watching Batty Batty, uh, Batty Caribbean last night, the auditions, Bad vs. Wild went crazy, can't wait for the next part, and, um, tune into Zeus Network, I love you guys, and make sure any, oh, 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 I can't, how would I even forget, we have a distribution deal that just went out with the cannabis, so Batty Batty Blunt's Natalie Nunn cannabis will be 
everywhere. So every um, dispensary in America, you can now um, get my cannabis. I'm so happy for everybody. Signed my distribution deal. I'm super excited. So thank you guys. I love you. <laughs> See you later. Bye.